So, in order to build the spider robot, I got myself a 3D printer. More specifically, this, an Ender 3, which is cheap, open source, and it's got a large community behind it. Now, alongside printing parts for the robot, I also started to print upgrades for the printer itself. And having now completed the robot, as well as receiving a package of further upgrades in the post, I thought it would be a good time to go through all the upgrades I've made. So let's remove all the printable upgrades and get it back to stock so I can show you each one. So the first upgrade I printed was a screen cover as the Ender 3's LCD can be way too bright if you keep the printer in your bedroom. So this just nicely covers the screen and also protects my eyeballs. Just to mention you can find links to all the STLs and parts down in the description. Now the next print was a shroud for the board fan. The opening for the fans placed directly underneath the bed meaning small bits of filament could easily fall in. So this shroud just covers it up. Taking a break from the parts I've already printed, one thing I've been meaning to get around to is printing cable chains, which should help support and protect these cables at the back. So I downloaded the files and loaded them into Cura, but to print them all it would take more than 25 hours, which is way too long for my complete lack of patience. So I'm going to go see if I can find them in the wild. That was easy. Hang on, give me one second. That's much better. Let's get it installed. So this part helps guide the filament into the extruder at a better angle, but I found that the extruder filament is still pulled sharply, which could potentially cause failure. So I found a guy for near the extruder and I'll just print that now. Actually, in order to assemble it, I do need a bearing. So give me a second to take apart an old skateboard. And there you go, much better. So I guess now it's time to open up this box and get started with the non-printable upgrades. So the next two upgrades is to do with the bed. The first being these stiffer leveling springs to keep the bed in position and leveled for longer. And then the next is this tempered glass bed to replace the stock one as it's flatter, heats more uniformly and prints self-release when it cools. So the next two upgrades are a full metal extruder, which is more durable than the stock plastic one. and a Bowden tube replacement. And that's everything. Now I'm sure that's not the end of the upgrades to the Ender 3. I'm already thinking of getting a BL Touch, converting it to direct drive and all sorts of things. But anyway, that's all for this video. So let me know in the comments what you want me to make next. In the meantime, go watch this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.